Okay, I wanted to review our real numbers and um, things we need to know about ordering. And so here are just some tips and reminders. It says, remember that all real numbers should be converted to decimals. So when we are trying to order our numbers, we want to make sure we change them all to the same form and we want to change them to decimals using your calculator. We have different types of real numbers. Remember, all real numbers are either rational, it's either a rational number or it is an irrational number. Okay, remember that we looked at a Venn diagram and rational numbers make up the bigger group. So rational and then irrational is over here in a smaller circle. Um, remember, rational numbers can be written as a fraction and convert it to decimal form if we're going to use it. Okay. Now, the only kind of numbers that are irrational are things like pi okay, or square roots of non-perfect squares. And let me give you an example. The square root of 17 is a non-perfect square. 17 is not a perfect square. So that's going to be an example of an irrational number. I was also want to add in that remember rational includes whole numbers, integers, and natural or counting numbers. Okay, so take a minute and write that down just to take note of it. You're not going to have a lot of questions on what type of number it is, but we are going to have a lot of questions on ordering our numbers. Okay. And then here we have scientific notation. Remember, scientific notation must be in this form. An example with numbers might look like this, or 3 times 10 to the negative 5. That's what um, it looks like in scientific notation. Remember, the A value, the number out front, has to be between 1 and 10. It can be a decimal. And then the N, the exponent, is an integer. Now the value of n is how many times you move the decimal place. Remember when we're converting. If n is negative, we move the decimal to make the number smaller. Okay, just think negative is smaller anyway, right? So we want to make a smaller number, which technically moves, we mean we move the decimal to the left. But if you think about making it smaller, that might be easier. If n is a positive, then we move the decimal to make the number bigger, or which would also mean to the right. Okay, so let's look at the examples below. We convert to scientific notation. So here we have, well, what is this, 3,250,000,000. Here is my decimal to begin with. I'm going to move the decimal all the way to behind the 3. And so this would be 3.25 times 10 to the 9th. There are 9 numbers behind that decimal where we moved it. If our number is a decimal to begin with, we're moving it all the way back here behind the 4. And that means we should have a negative exponent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7. Okay, and then if we're already in scientific notation, remember if our exponent is positive, we want to make our number bigger. So we're going to move our decimal nine places to the right. Notice I don't have nine zeros. I have nine digits that I moved my decimal. And then if our exponent is negative, we want to make the number smaller. So the decimal goes this way. You can also think of your negative sign as an arrow. So 0.004. Okay?